It's been crazy. I mean, you know, just thinking it could happen and then finally happening to the owner coming, picking me up to we had a draft fest and I'm in front of, you know, the Cardinals. So it's been crazy, but you know, it's been a blessing. You had expressed a desire to be traded. How did you find out it was official that you were coming to Arizona? Um, uh, Eric DaCosta, the general manager at the Ravens, uh, reached out to me. He let me know what was going on uh, and to keep it quiet. And then, you know, Steve reached out to me and we just, from there, it was just trying to keep it quiet from there and not telling anyone. But uh, I was, you know, relieved and, you know, happy to uh, hear. How hard was it to not tell Kyler? Uh, it was very hard. Uh, he, you know, he he got a way of trying to get it out. Like you hear, you heard anything or like what's going on? But you know, it was it was pretty cool. So, what was your initial reaction when you got the call from Steve Kine? It was like I was drafted all over again. I mean, it was exciting. Um, you know, I thanked them, uh, thanked the whole organization. You know, for uh, coming to get me, and you know, I'm gonna make it worth their while. This receiving core, DeAndre Hopkins, AJ Green, Rondale Moore, Zach Ertz, what are you bringing to an already stellar receiving core here? I'm um, bringing a lot of energy, uh, a lot of juice, and I feel like we all gonna uh, feed off each other. I'm excited you know, to work with these guys, and I feel like we all gonna complement each other you know, very well. Cliff Kingsbury joked he didn't really need to watch film because he saw the film in person in college when he was coaching against you. Yeah. What are your expectations on how you're going to fit into this offense playing for an offensive minded head coach who's also the play caller? I'm very excited. Uh, he recruited me coming out. So I know all about, you know, how he how he do things. And, you know, with Lincoln Riley, they, they all close. So I'm excited to work with him and looking forward to it. You said Kyler tried to get the news out. What was the conversation between the two of you when you were able to tell him I'm your teammate again? He was just happy, you know, he couldn't stop smiling. He was just like, yo, go handle your business, like call me later. But, you know, he's been excited. Uh, we've been talking about this for a while and to finally make it happen. And, you know, it's reality now, it's, it's surreal. You were college teammates. You've been training with him in Dallas in the off season, so you already have that chemistry. How much of a leg up does that give you as the new receiver on this team to already have that chemistry with your new quarterback? Uh, pretty good. I mean, he's been showing me the signals, uh, getting me, you know, caught up as much as he could, and just knowing, you know, how he thinks is uh, pretty good. You know, going into a new situation.